for those of you who are new to my channel, welcome to my channel. My name is Cotton Candy. I travel the world attending music festivals and post vlogs and reviews of each one of those festivals right here on my YouTube channel. Um, I also post pictures and videos of me at these festivals in real time on social media, so if you want to follow me on there also, you can do that. My handle is at underscore Cotton Candy Kid for Twitter and Instagram. All four of my Tomorrowland vlogs are posted on my YouTube channel right now, so if you haven't seen those yet, please go check them out. They're super awesome. I'll also post a link to those in the description. Tomorrowland is a giant music festival that takes place in Belgium every year in July over the course of two weekends. It's one of the biggest and most famous music festivals in the whole world, so the hype around it is massive and tickets sell out in just seconds. It's been a dream of mine to attend Tomorrowland for years, and when I graduated high school, I actually started a savings account called Tomorrowland and I finally had the chance to go this year for weekend one. Since both weekends sell out in just minutes, we purchased the Global Journey train package from Paris just to ensure our admission. Um, the packages are a lot more expensive than if you were to buy everything separately, but it was actually really nice to not have to plan anything and also to not have to bring a bunch of camping supplies from America to Tomorrowland. The venue is massive and the lineup is so stacked it features artists from every genre and subgenre of dance music. There's literally something for everyone. There are 18 stages. All the stages are designed to have its own unique atmosphere and experience completely different from any of the other stages. Some are really small and intimate, and some are huge and over the top and crazy. The main stage design followed the story of Planaxis underwater theme, and the centerpiece was a little was a big seahorse, like the little seahorse we got in our Tomorrowland ticket box. Uh, if you're interested in seeing what's in the Tomorrowland ticket box, I have an unboxing on my channel, and I'll post the link to that in the description. The stage is huge, and the crowd was huge, and it was crazy. I feel like 80% of the people at Tomorrowland were at the main stage most of the time. Personally, my favorites were the Freedom Stage, um, the Organ of Harmony, Rave Cave, and the Arch Stage. The Freedom Stage was a complete LED design that wrapped from the stage area all the way up and around the ceiling, which made for a cool lit up environment. I thought the Rave Cave was one of the most creative designs in my opinion. Literally, it was just a small cave with a very intimate and underground vibe. The Organ of Harmony stage actually didn't really appeal to me much until the third day of the festival when it was hosted by Martin Solvay's My House. The visuals that all the house DJs brought to the LED screens were so cool and really made the stage pop. The arch stage is probably one of the most least exciting stages compared to all the other big flashy ones, but it was by far my favorite stage of the whole weekend, every day of the festival. Basically all of the sets I saw at the arch were lit and every crowd had the most amazing energy. In addition to all of my favorite sets from the arch stage, I also had the best time of my life when I saw Martin Garrix at the Oregon Heart Organ of Harmony stage on Saturday night. And this is my one cool story that I have for you from Tomorrowland. Um, a security guard saw me vlogging Martin Garrix with my selfie stick and like trying to get good angles. And he actually lifted me up over the rail and let me get closer to Martin so I could get good shots of him. It, he only let me for like 45 seconds, but it was like the coolest 45 seconds of my life. Yeah, I love Martin Garrix. I don't know if you guys know this, but I'm like a huge fan girl. So it was like a big deal. Yeah. So let's go over some of the stuff that I got at Tomorrowland. Um, I'm rocking this super cute Tomorrowland shirt that I got, and I'm also rocking the Tomorrowland flag. I thought it'd be a good, appropriate backdrop for this video. Let's see, some things I liked about Tomorrowland. Um, I love the venue. It was massive, and it had a lot of really cool scenery to look at. I liked the lineup. It was so stacked, so diverse. Definitely the kind of lineup I prefer, because I'm into all genres of dance music. Um, I did like the camping ap aspect of Tomorrowland, Dreamville. The vibes in Dreamville the whole time were awesome. The pre-party in Dreamville called The Gathering was one of my favorite parts of the whole weekend. I liked that Tomorrowland was a cashless event. Uh, you loaded all your money onto your wristband and used that to pay for everything at the festival and in Dreamville. The biggest thing I didn't like about the festival was the crowd. The crowd at Tomorrowland is a lot more chill and laid back. The majority of people just stand and sit enjoying the music. Not so many people are going crazy dancing and partying like the North American crowd I'm used to. It wasn't until after I got home and started editing my vlogs that I realized that most of the people at Tomorrowland were significantly older than me. Um, I'm 23 and I think a lot of people there were over 30 years old and a lot of people in their 40s and 50s. And that's not a bad thing. It just kind of explained to me why people maybe weren't going like super hard. 
It wasn't very fun to vlog or edit because of the chill crowd. I have a lot of footage of people standing and sitting and minimally dancing, and I usually like my vlogs to have a lot more energy, so um, I don't know if you guys have seen my vlogs yet, but I try to do my best to like highlight all the best, most energetic parts of the festival and leave out like the not so fun parts. I don't want to spoil Tomorrowland for anyone. I don't want to discourage anyone from going. Um, this is my personal opinion based on my personal experience at Tomorrowland this year. Um, I think the festival is a little overhyped, or maybe I just hyped it up for myself too much over the years, so when I finally went, it just wasn't how I pictured it. I'll definitely go back to Tomorrowland, just not for a long time. I think I'd enjoy it more if I was a little older and fit in with the crowd a little more. Again, this is my personal opinion based on my personal experience. It rightfully belongs on every raver, EDM lover, festival junkies bucket list. It's a festival everyone has to attend at least once in their life, in my opinion. However, my advice is that if you're in your 20s or younger and have like a lot of party energy like me, I would suggest maybe waiting till you're a little older to attend the festival. For anyone who does plan on attending the festival in the near future, I will be coming out with a bunch of videos to make your Tomorrowland trip a little bit easier, and I'll be posting those later in the year, probably in November, so please subscribe and keep a lookout for those videos. If you haven't seen my Tomorrowland 2018 vlogs yet, please go check them out, and all my other music festival vlogs, I will post the link to those in the description. Um, you can also follow me on social media, my handle is at underscore cotton candy kid for Twitter and Instagram. And that's it for this video. Please like and subscribe and do all that good stuff. And yeah, thanks again for watching. Peace out, Girl Scouts. There is no bad